Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take it's been long time i did not done the review of awaken os updates but yesterday we got the newest update awaken os 2.8 plasma build which has some new additions and the fixes to make the awaken os as one of the finest build till the date which maintain its position in the hard competition of android 12 based rom for the one plus 6 and 60 so today in this video we will review all the new changes and the fixes done by the developers along with the GPU and the graphics test by using the Geekbench and 3D benchmark. As I created first comparison test video two days back, you can check it from the iCard. Their old Awaken OS build of 23rd May had given tough fight to its contender but still it's got third rank so I decided to give one more try to the newest build in the test where the Awaken OS lag behind so watch the video till the end to check out the final verdict. I didn't show the flashing process here but if you are already on the Awaken OS you will get the notification of this new update in the OTA, download and flash the update or dirty flash it via TWRP. I was on Cyber OS so I clean flash the ROM via TWRP, installed the TWRP, rebooted back to the TWRP and formatted the data. You can check the detailed flashing process in the iCard video. So finally phone started to boot with the unique boot animation of Awaken OS, now without further ado, let's get started. As I done the clean flash, I completed the setup and phone booted to the new Avicon OS which has the new orange color default wallpaper that looks nice. Let's check about phone section to see what new changes we get here. This ROM is still on the Android 12 L based build with the same material you clock easter egg. This is the Avicon OS 2.8 plasma build. This one is the first Android 12 based ROM which has 5th June security patch. This ROM has the newest premise kernel 4.9.232. Build with the Google Client Toolchain with the enforcing mode. Heads up to developer Vikas who is bringing us the fastest and the superior update for our device. This build is prepared on the 12 June 2022. There is one hotfix build of 13 June which I have given instead of 12 June build in the video description you can flash that. But if you already flash as the 12 June build then download the new build and flash it via OT update manually. This hotfix build fixes the OT update issue. So let's see what new additions we get in the new build. New ROM has added Timber icon for the almost all the Google application along with the some third party apps but still some third party application missing the new theme icons like the Geekbench, Voidwild, etc. ROM has implemented with the new client manager for the Wi-Fi hotspot connection. If you are using the VPN server on the hotspot device and enable the tab allow client to use the VPN under the hotspot connection setting. Now the client device can also use the same VPN connection from the connected hotspot device. Now app lock feature which is available under the security setting of the phone has almost all the system applications to be whitelisted for the app lock. Here you can see the system apps like the Chrome, Contacts, Messaging, Phone etc can be locked using the app lock feature. These are all the features they added except that team fixer the rotation icon which has some bugs in the previous build while using the two buttons navigation gesture which is now fixed and is working without the issue. They also fixed the dark mode issue when we toggle it to a quick setting panel but now it's working without the issues and applies the dark coloring all over the system of the ROM. As per the changelog they fixed the battery widget percentage for the connected devices but it seems not fixed till now because even I connected my Oppo Ecno M31 earphone still it's showing the phone's battery percentage in the widget. So all the things has been discussed now it's time to see if this new build can beat the old results that we got in the comparison test video. You can check that from the iCard. Similar to that comparison test, here I done the, all the tests at the room temperature of 44 to 47 degrees Celsius. When I ran the Geekbench test for the OpenG drivers, here I got the score of 2288. In the last video, we got the 2257 and surprisingly here Awaken was beated both the ROMs and got the 1 point. We will take this point and will give the final total points that Awaken was gets along with its ranking. Next I done the test for the Hulkan drivers and I got the result of 1894. In the last comparison video we got the score of 1837. In this test our kernel still lags behind its contender without any points. Performance test comparison video was pending. Still here we will just take the general idea of performance by doing the Geekbench performance test. And we got the score of 499 for the single core while for the multi core we got a 1830. Results are low but the ROM is very smooth, no lags at all anywhere in the ROM. 
After completing the Geekbench test, device feels warmer up to 55 degrees Celsius, so I cool down the device to the normal room temperature and move on to next 3D wild lab benchmark test. Here we will do the 5 tests. First one is the slingshot test, second is the slingshot extreme on the open gel drivers, third is the slingshot extreme on the Hulkan drivers, fourth is the wild lab and the last is the wild lab extreme. We will compare these current results with the old comparison test to find out whether at any test our can will outperform. First I done the slingshot test and I got the score of 5568, which was lower than the old result of the 5614. So no points of economics will get here. Before moving to the next test, I cooled down the device from the 51 to 48 degrees Celsius and done the slingshot extreme for the OpenGL 3.1 drivers. And I got the score of 3969, which was also lower than the old results of 4152. So no points of econ got here again. For the slingshot extreme on the Hulkan drivers, I got the score of 3921. Here the score improved as compared to the old results of 3787. Still the results are lower as compared to the Siberia and the Evolution X. So no points for the Awakon was got here once again. For wildlife, I got the score of 1955. Here the score improved a lot as compared to the old results of 1873. Still it doesn't beat it, the Siberia which has the score of 1956. Last and the final test is for the wildlife extreme and here I got the score of 604 which again improved a lot as compared to the old results of 528 but here evolution exhibited all the wrong with the score of 608. So here in the repeated test of the geek bench and the 3D mark our canvas got 1 point in the last comparison we got 1 point. Total 2 points our canvas scored here so still it's ranked at the third position but in the today's test scores are a lot improved because of the new kernel and the Awakon OS has the amazing performance in the gaming, so still it's the best choice for the Android 12 gaming ROM lovers for the OnePlus 6 and 60. So what are the bugs in the 12 June update? I did not found any bugs but the OT update is broken, it's showing the connection error even if I connected to the network. So the devs has immediately released the new hotfix update of the same version 2.8 on the 13th June. You can download and flash it while local installed in the OTA to fix this issue. Hey Google is still not working here but it's a device specific issue so if you got this issue you can use the right side card video to enable the ok google using the magix module. This is all about the new update thanks to the Vikas for giving us such amazing roms and the immediate fixes for the bugs which I did not see for the any roms for the oneplus 6 and 60. Though rom is ranked at the third position in the gaming and the gpu test still other battery and the performance tests are pending so wait for that to get the final results. Awaken OS is the hidden gem which gives your OnePlus 6 and 60 new flying life. That's it guys for today. If you think I helped you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.